Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin. Um, and I'm, I, I kind of want to make more videos of Should You, but I want to change it up where this Should You series is not just on the anime aspect, but just YouTube in general. And this is the first uh, topic that I want to talk about uh, now that my channel's growing a little bit more, uh, that uh, people ask other people and... Uh, I just wondering does does methods work and, and and I want to talk about different methods that you can use here on YouTube um, to grow your channel. Uh, my channel was still growing; it's still small. Uh, for for those who are watching um, my videos, thank you so much. Uh, but today's topic is: Should you use sub for sub? Um, now, for those who don't know what sub for sub stands for, it means subscribe for subscribe, which means if I subscribe to your channel, then uh, please, you subscribe to mine. Um, and people use this tag. Uh, I've used it plenty of times, and uh, people go to people's channels and put this. They go on Twitter, they go on Instagram, they go on, uh, on Snapchat, on Facebook, you name the platform. They do sub for sub tags. Now, does it work? And, and is it actually good for your channel? Uh, I'm gonna talk th through my experience and um, you can leave in the comment section below your experience and I, I wanna hear more for you guys uh, what has worked and what has not worked for you guys but and, and what other topic you want me to hit but today's topic is should you use sub for sub. Um, when I started my channel, I, I started my channel with different type of videos. It was not anime or, man or manga based and uh, I, I never used tags, I never did all, any of that, I just posted and I I hope that someone watched the video, right? Uh, I would share it in my social media and that's about it. Then I started learning more about tags and as I learned more about tags, I started going to these forums and a lot of these forums, a lot of these places that uh, I would I would read articles, a lot of people would rec recommend, hey, do sub for sub, that always gets you one or two subscriptions, right? Uh, back then, uh, these is a few years ago, uh, not not that long ago actually. Two years ago, when I started, um, actually a year and a half ago, when I started doing my uh, my growth in my channel, uh, I read an article and they said, you know, this is at least going to get you some subscribers to get your number of subscriptions up. Uh, this is when YouTube was counting the subscriptions more than the views. So. Uh, I, I decide, okay, I, I'm gonna go to some channels, I'm gonna start just tagging sub for sub on people's comments, commenting on people's videos, uh, going to people's Twitters and Facebook, and then tagging it on my video so people can land on my video, and did it work? Well, uh, to an extent it did, and uh, I, 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 I will explain later how it worked, but to the other extent, it, it didn't. So, um, how did it work? Well, I did get some people that sub into my channel and I sub to their channel. Um, and my numbers did grow to an extent. I think when I started doing that, I was at around 108 and, and, and my channel grew a little bit and um, it was great. I, I, I got confidence as a producer of a YouTube channel. I felt like my channel was growing, uh, but what what is actually happened was I didn't get views, and views were also important because uh, I wanted to get monetized. I wanted to get to that point where I can monetize my videos, and all of a sudden, you know, I have 200, 300 subscribers, but no views. So I I kept wondering, you know, how do I get stuff doing that? So. I, I, I kept putting a lot of my effort on sub for sub and uh, the negative side to sub for sub and I think a lot of you guys can agree with me and, and, and if you don't, leave in the comment section again. But uh, sub for sub will get you a subscriber, will get that number up, but more than likely, most of the time, I, I'm gonna say maybe 99% of the time, the subscribers you get through sub for sub are never going to interact with you again, other than having you as a subscription. So uh, forget about having them watching your videos, forget about them commenting, forget about them interacting with you, uh, liking. Uh, actually, I, I, 
I know a friend who does suffer sub and he goes into people's channels and he starts unliking stuff uh, just to mess with people. So uh, suffer sub in paper, I guess you can say it works. You'll get some numbers up, but you won't get interaction. Uh, in fact, I am more than 100% sure that still uh, maybe 100 subscribers of my channel right now are from sub for sub and uh, eventually you lose them because guess what? I started subscribing to people's channels and then after a while I found myself in my phone with all these videos that I didn't want to watch so I started unsubscribing and people do that. People are going to do that when, when their YouTube is just so busy of stuff that they don't want to watch they're going to start up unsubscribing. So that's the other point to that is you get a subscriber, but it, it has a time limit and, and eventually that time limit is going to finish and they're going to decide I'm going to unsubscribe from this person because I've had them for a month. I've had them two months and I never watched their videos. So, uh, in conclusion, I, I want to say that sub for sub is not the best way to get subscribers. There's other methods, and I will talk about more of these methods through this series, Should You. And uh, I hope you guys follow this series. Um, if you think this series is a helpful series, make sure you put that in the comment section because I, I want to hear that. I, I want to hear if it's something you guys want to hear from me, or if you think ah, I don't want to hear your opinion, do something else. So leave that in the comment section below. And uh, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and you'll be able to see more anime, manga, otaku stuff, as well as tips for your YouTube channels. Thank you so much, guys, and like always, don't be strangers.